This is the beginning of part 2 of the video on how to install .NET Nook 6. The next step would be the database setup. We're going to create a new database under, under um, SQL Server 2008 Express Edition that is running in this computer, in my local computer. So to do that, I'm just going to access it. I'm going to access uh, SQL Server Management Studio from my Start menu. And you can only see half of it. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to move the screen a little bit. Perfect. Now you can see everything. So I'm running SQL Express Edition. Uh, and let's have a look here. This is 2008. And I'm going now, I'm going to expand my databases. I have a few already here. And I'm going to create a new database for DNN6. Just to keep it consistent and just for the to make it simple, I'm going to create the database with the same name as the site that I have created. So I'm just going to right click on the under the database uh, tree node. I'm going to click on new database. And from here, I'm going to call this DNN600. I'm going to click OK. Database is created. Um, it, should, it must have been added to the end. Here it is. Now, I'm also going to create a user that will be the database owner of that new database. So we need to we need we need we need to set it up as well. Where we can do that? Just under the uh, the tree view where it says security. I can just expand that. Expand logins as well. I'm going to right click on logins and I'm going to create a new login that will be again the database owner for this database. I'm going to call it um, again to keep it consistent, keep it simple. I'm going to call it DNN600 as well. I'm going to select a SQL Server authentication and I'm going to put a password. So let's say Okay. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to uncheck all those three options to make it simple. Um, not going to be reset and password index login. It will not expire. And I'm not going to enforce password policy just to make it simple. With that done, the next step here on creating a new, a new login is to go to the user mapping. Select the database that we have just created, which is called DNN600. And I'm going to check the DB owner as well. So the new user will be the, will have to be the DB owner of the database. Okay. So I'm going to click OK here. The new login has been added. And that's basically it. That, that's basically it from a SQL Server standpoint of view. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it is just a matter of running the installation wizard and going through the installation process to the installation wizard of uh, DNN. So let's go back to the browser. I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to type in localhost for slash DNN 600. And let's give it a try here. Perfect. So we have the first screen in the installation wizard. I'm going to leave it as typical. I'm going to click on next and we can all already see a little bit of the new look of DNN, DNN6. You see the buttons are quite a little bit different, a little bit more stylish. So right now it's checking for file permission. It says that the site has passed permission checking. Perfect. We just click next again. Now that that's where we're going to connect to our to the database that we have just created. We will not be using Express file. We're going to be using the SQL Server 2008 database. So we're going to select the second option here. When we do that, some options will change, most likely down here. Yeah. So server, this will be the server. Dot means our local system, my local system. And the database will be, the, the, our database is called DNN600. We will not be using integrated security because we have created a user for this database, which is called DNN600. 
and here is my password run as the owner that's fine that's what we want and i'm not, not gonna select not gonna enter an object qualifier i'm just gonna click next now perfect so the installation script has started to run and we just have to wait a little bit until it's all done okay very good installation of database completed complete success those are the words that we are looking for not gonna not now here okay so let's just click next again and now we're gonna set up our super user now best practice is change the username from host to something else because if you keep it host i mean you are you give half of the security to put possible hackers out hackers out there because they already know the the username now again so change the the host to something else but i'm gonna leave it as host just to make it simple for future videos to use uh the super user account i'm gonna again i'm gonna keep it as host but do not keep it yourself um host okay password password again email address i'm gonna change it but my own I'm gonna click next. Now we will create the administrator account. Again, another one that you should want to change the username from admin to your own name to something else. Again, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna leave it as, as is, but you should definitely change it. You should put your first name, last name, another username, of course, a secure password. And I'm gonna put my email address again. Portal title, you can leave at this. You can also always change that later on down the road. And I'm gonna leave the template as this. Again, as you can see, if you are used to install DNN sites, you can see already that the look and feel is different. The look and feel is, uh, I would say, is the DNN6 look and feel. You see the buttons, you see the text boxes, they all look different. So let's click next again. and here we are we are already logged in as super user account to our new site it does look quite different from the regular dnn5 look and feel that we were used to a lot of nice little cool stuff here but again the idea the goal of this video was just that just to be able to install dnn and that's what we did i'm just gonna log out and see how the site looks like from a from a user point of view from an end user point of view okay so this the site installed and again this is a dnn6 site and in future videos i'll be talking more about dnn6 that's it for now thank you very much and bye